I guess we're doing the two here first. Gotta get rid of that. We still have plenty of copper. I think I can get another round of bronze in. Hey, how is our two? Oh, right. I can uh, put tools here. On tools for trade. Tools for trade. Treasure hunter. Oh, come on. Four. Treasure hunters. There we go. That works. So I can use a lot more business bronze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We're going to make more plates. Well, I'll just put these plates here. Right, let's just light this up now. Same thing with the plates, just so we can start working on those iron chains. Gonna need a lot of iron chains. Maybe we can get another batch of bronze going. Or yeah, maybe we can get some silver plates, maybe? Bismuth... Or you know what? Another batch of bismuth bronze. So I have to check this recipe again. It's like... Oh, no, not the brass. This. So, it's mainly going to be like mostly copper. I want to use 70% then the 20 and 10% for the other materials. So let's do the math the easy way because I like it the easy way. Okay, 70, 10, and 20. Let's do it like this. And then 70. And then I want more of this. 40, 20, then 140. So we don't have enough materials to do it the easy way, so that's just gonna be it. I guess I could have just left it. Uh, I want iron chains. It continue warming up like that. I think I put more than one charcoal in there. Then I should only need like nine for this or eight. We can do eight. Oh yeah, I need to continue getting this going. Alright. Now all we have to do is poke holes in these to make the iron chains. See, this is why I wanted to turn them into iron plates first. It's so much easier. Because it's already in the shape that it needs to be. You just need to poke holes in it like so. If you tried to do this with two iron ingots, you're doing a lot more work. Like, you're basically shaping it in a plate anyway. Made a mistake there. Oh, no. But this is so much easier. And I saw that. A medium temporal storm is approaching. 
Well, we're obviously not going to have the armor ready to go for the Temporal Storm. Iron Wait. What the hell? I selected Iron Plate. I meant to use the... Iron Chain here. Well, it's already in the shape of an Iron Plate, so it just gives me back the item. After I pick it up and put it down again. Can I just immediately do this? Probably makes things easier. But I also need to put these in here. Is this too cold already? Oh my god. Really? Alright. So we're gonna fire this up. Okay, so the temporal storm is approaching like at 1600, 4 o'clock. So it should hit around 10 o'clock. I already have all of my spears, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's fine enough. Alright, so let's keep this going. So I still haven't built the arena yet. I want to build it like right out there. I'm gonna fill in the pond and then build like an arena with lots of stone paths and nice lighting and a roof over our head so it doesn't get snowed in. Okay, let's keep this going. Oh, great. Too cool. All right, I've got five of these so far. Why did the temporal storm have to hit when it's wind like windy? Like I want to be working on this. And then once I get the iron armor up and running, we're gonna do more exploring of the caves around the areas here. Oh, I guess this is hot enough. Let's just clear out these iron ingots here. And then heat this up again. Okay, this is almost done. And this is almost done. I just thought of something. Maybe it would be wise just to keep it going like once. Just add an extra charcoal in there. Just to keep this warm. Unless we can like pour this first. 
gonna be close though. Actually, you know what? Let's pour this now. The copper shouldn't be ready yet. So this is an extra 10 ingots, I believe. Still need to convert that into tools. And one thing I would like to do since we have an abundance of tin bronze is I want to turn some of those into spears. The reason I've been holding off on that is because they're generally really expensive, but as you can see, we have an abundance of tin bronze ingots, so that's no longer an issue. Put this back here, and this is still being processed, but should be fine. So we'll just keep this going. Like, I don't feel like I need to prepare for this temporal storm. It's like once it hits, I'll just go over to the treasure hunter to the south. Maybe bring along a few tools with me just so I can sell it to him. If I can. Okay, these are the last one. So I won't light the other one simply because I think we're about to get hit with the temporal storm. We're not going to have time to take advantage of the heat. Okay, let's make sure we keep this going. Now my body armor, the cloth body armor, is almost out. I can see the orange on the bar there. So I'll have to replace that eventually. Fuck. Oopsie. So, let's fix that. There we go. Okay, it only stacks to eight. So, I'm just waiting on... ...that. I'm waiting for this to cool down, but I have to wonder, am I going to do this in time? Is this going to happen before we get hit with the temporal storm? Okay, here we go. Well, we're definitely going to finish this. But what I want to do... Just put the peat here, like get it up to temp, keep it at 900 just so that the temperature goes down slower. I should probably get equipped now. Okay, so here's our empty crock. Here's another one. Let's continue with our food here. Now, do I want a pie or do I just want bread? Well, I guess bread it is. Can I like put this on the ground? No, I can't. Okay, where did you go plate? I guess we'll put this here. There we go. Okay, you are now soft. Yeah, it's going down in temp much slower because of the peat. I don't know if we'll have time though. I feel like I should just put this in here temporarily. It'll be fine. 
So let's see, tin bronze pickaxe. We'll take two of each of these. These are for the agricultural trader and these are for treasure hunters. Wait a minute, where, where's the other? Oh, okay, so two pickaxes, two swords, two shovels. We're good. And then that's it. Okay, we're done. You know, I'm just going to start pouring this now. So by the time I finish pouring it into the empty molds, it'll be hard enough. The other stuff will be hard enough for me to remove it. So here we go. Another 24 copper ingots. We already have plenty, but the reason I'm using this for the lanterns is because we just have so much for it. So I guess the best material for making lanterns is really what you have available. In my case, it's copper. I originally thought it was going to be bismuth, but couldn't find that much. It's almost done. Can I do like another one real quick? Feels like I can get away with another one. Oh, look at that. Yes, I can. So I'm not going to go down into the iron ore mine. Just because we already have so many iron blooms still. So I really don't need to do that. Okay, let's just start pouring it now. Some of them are still soft. And yeah, we can do it. Now I do need to make bismuth bronze tools for the treasure hunters. Because I don't have any at this point in time. Oh, I should also put the bandages on my hotbar. Put away the hammer. Unless I can get away with this. Can I get away with this? Because it's still hot, it's still workable. Oh, yes I can. Yes I can. Aha! Gotta make the most out of your fuel. And there we go. Okay, I think it's... Oh, put away the charcoal. And then I need to harvest that charcoal pit over there. And then start a new one, like, immediately. Because I go through a lot of charcoal. Gonna eat this immediately. And I read the comments. I can actually refill this bowl here. 2.2 service. Oh my god, that is so useful. Thank you for telling me this. It is so useful just to be able to refill the bowl. I didn't know you could do that, but you can do that. So if you didn't know how to do that, well, now you do. Okay, am I missing anything here? I had like... Oh, I completely forgot about the meat that was here. Now I have 24 liters of rot. I guess I'll put this away. With the rest of the rot. Here 
Here we go, 44 liters of rot. Oh, I've never actually checked this area in a while. So we have our small hides here. Alright, so let's move this in here. Seal that up. Just gonna make the strong tannin. Alright, it's gonna hit. Let's head over to the... Treasure Hunter to the south. That's where we are going to face the Temporal Storm. And of course, along the way there, we're also killing time off the Temporal Storm. I did put down some lanterns over there, so I don't get disoriented in that area anymore. Like, I have a general idea of where I'm going, I just don't know the exact path. Sometimes I go over the mountain because I take a turn too soon. And that's always annoying. Those are granite stones. Well, I guess I do need stones, but I'm not going to fill up my inventory just yet. You guys are already spawning. Now I'm pretty much going to do the same thing as every other Temporal Storm. I'm only going after the double-headed drifters. Now there is one of the lanterns I was talking about. Like, it's much easier to go through this area with the lanterns. And again, I have a general idea of where I'm going. It's just, I don't know when to take a turn. But now, with these lanterns, I do. You really just need to follow the lanterns. Okay, yeah, that's a nightmare drifter. In the middle of the night, but sometimes there's enough ambient light, I think it's from the moon, that you can actually see pretty far during the nighttime, even without lanterns. And sometimes it's just like pitch black. And then there's the next lantern over there. That's where we're gonna take the turn. Then next lantern is over there. Oh, jeez. I just went right through a drifter. I was looking at my dairy nutrition. It's starting to go down. So if we manage to sell something to the trader, I'm going to pass by the agricultural trader. Otherwise, we're just going to go through here again, pick up stones along the way. Like, I haven't been collecting stones around here. But we do need to collect them just so we can have more stones for the stone path. Alright, so I'm gonna dump this into the chest. Didn't even look at the storage contents. But I do need to check to see what's in there. And my temperature is still good, so I don't need to light the fire, I don't think. I will light these torches. 
I really should be relighting these extinguished torches, just so I can take them back. I'll just take them back after the temporal storm. There isn't really anyone in here. Oh, that's why you didn't light. You know what? I'll just torch this top block. There you go. So, anybody want to show up to the party? Oh, there you go. Just appeared like in close proximity to me when you spawned. All right, here they come. Here they come. That's a tainted drifter. You know what? Let's go. Let's go. I know you're a tainted drifter, but let's go. Come to think of it, since it's a medium temporal storm, I'm probably not going to get a double-headed drifter. Or at least it's going to have a lower spawn rate, lower likelihood of actually spawning, unless that's it right there. Oh, look at that. Okay. I only had five spears. There we go. Two behind me. Give me here. Ah. Nope. All right. So where are you? Now there's a whole bunch of drifters. It's going to be harder to kill. Unless you're me. Hee 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 hee. Come here. No, don't get in the... Don't get in the water. Come on. There you are. There you go. Now I'll let you cut you up. I got five gears. It's not enough for cheese. Well, I'm hoping I can sell something to the trader there or else I'm not going to be able to get some cheese. Oh, you know what? Come here. Come here. How about this? Oh, missed. <laughs> I want to try this. Straight up into the air. Do I hit anything? Oh my god, really? Oh. Alright. Let's get back those spears. You guys should try this. Like, throw it directly up into the air and see if you hit anything. 